Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is a very auspicious and powerful day. This is the day that literally I feel that Shivji, Lord Shivji, is enveloping this earth with his energy. Literally, his hands are out protecting each one of us who reaches out to him and honors him this day and this night especially. He's literally walking amongst us, helping you rise, helping you envelop your divine power and be one with, with your divine power. And those words that have been following us for several days take on new meaning this night with Lord Shiva. So do honor him in some way this day through a prayer, through an invocation, through both, through a request. And place your palm on top of your solar plexus and feel his energy within you. Ask him to merge with you. Look at his image online in some way. And you are honoring your feelings already. For that is what the angelic forces are telling us to pay attention to this day. To go back to feeling space again. Somewhere or the other, you have cut off to your feelings. Or you're afraid of your feelings. Or you think feelings are a baggage. Or you think feelings are something that you have to carry around and you have to deal with. And you kind of don't want to have any feelings. But this night is auspicious. It's asking you to trust your feelings, to use your feelings, to merge with your feelings, to enjoy your feelings, and to come back to feeling centered space. And of course, you're never asked to do this alone. When the angelic forces are coming, carrying Shivji's energies. Yes, they're literally angels working with Shivji. Now that is a new thought, right? We never think of the angels as being connected with the lords and divine mothers, that they're in separate spaces, but all of the universe is one. The Akashic space is one. The golden light, the white light is one. And so Shivji sends his legions of angels, even working with Archangel Michael. There's just so much activity going on in the universal space this day. They're enveloping earth at this time. So any form of request you do, any form of clearing you want, cleansing you want, clear cleansing of mind, cleansing of the past, cleansing of karma, cleansing, cleansing of fears, cleansing of obstacles that you're not even aware of maybe, cleansing of movement. With whichever form you seek this clearing, cleansing, understanding, renewal, it is granted to you this day because there's just so much of heaven that is available to you. Not that a heaven is not available to you otherwise, but when the palm is so widely open and is wanting you to touch and is wanting you to request and is wanting you to merge, seek that help, receive that help, merge into that energy. And new moon energy is also surrounding this day. So you, in your mind especially, will want that clearing and cleansing that we just spoke about just a moment ago. You want to feel like a new person. And you want to go forward in life. You're not satisfied anymore just sitting just giving up and saying, I'll, I'll do this tomorrow. That tomorrow is today. 
That tomorrow is in the now. That tomorrow is you. Why? Because you have taken your power back. And when you have divine power, everything is surrounding you. Because you are confident and you know you're capable, you know you're loved. You know you have all the instruments of light with you, that you don't have to be some great psychic to receive this. You just have to feel like a divine child of God. And that is why you're asked to trust your emotions. And once you step into your emotions, a whole new level of existence will be open to you because your heart portal is open and your heart is working with your mind. Your emotions and your thoughts are working together to create a glorious future for you that begins with this very moment of acceptance. See how so much of the universe is saying just ask. And the complexity, you don't have to worry about how each thing merges into the, the next because nature is running on its own, right? That order. You don't have to understand it. You just have to believe it. Believe that it is working on your behalf. That is why, again, you're asked to trust your emotions. See, repetitive. And look at Archangel Haniel, whose very name means the grace of God, honoring this effort of yours this day. This message comes to you on Saturday, February the 18th, 2023. And use the numbers of this day, again for transformation. Nine, it reduces to a single number. And if you see her image, there's just so much for you to absorb and ready for you to take it. The energy of grace pours into you through her hair that comes into your own. Doesn't matter what form of hair you have. This is not a hair exercise. You're not going to a salon. This is not a divine salon. This is just the acceptance of grace to take away the sense of tiredness that you might have right now. And let the holy water literally pour and bring in cleansing, understanding, care, compassion, love, relaxation pours into you. In whichever form you seek it, just let it pour into you. And the golden blossom of wisdom, your crown chakra also opens up. Inspiration, you're open to understanding what form of thinking, what activity form of activity and where you should be in relation to your own emotions. Honor yourself. You're so wonderful. You're made with such care. Created with such care. You're precious. Honor that today. Honor that this night especially and choose to feel powerful. The Divine Father asks you to be powerful with Him. And even choose symbols of power this day to absorb into your being in some way. Again, see an image of Lord Shiva for this purpose. Choose just spontaneously whatever your heart says is correct for you at this time, karmically speaking. There's a karmic story that you have connected with that instrument. It comes to you for a specific reason. Absorb that reason. And why it comes to you will also be revealed to you. And if you see Archangel Haniel, she's just filled with divine grace. Absorb that grace in whatever form 
again, you feel you need, seek it, and can use it. And see the beautiful silvery light of the moon behind her as orbs of light, orbs of grace, orbs of magic, orbs of movement, orbs of creation, honoring your emotions. In fact, be happy that you're emotional, that you're even capable of feeling. There are so many people that have just cut off to feeling that they just walk around like wooden sticks. You still feel. That's wonderful that you have feelings, that you can express yourself that way. Choose to honor your emotions by maybe doing something creative this day and absorbing into your emotions that way and expressing your emotions that way. And finding resolution also by that form of expression, be it writing, be it painting, singing, cooking, whatever form you seek to honor your feelings. Archangel Haniel will support your effort and will make her presence known too in the form of a feather or some sound whispered in your ear because ear energy is strong as the new moon is enhanced or the new moon energy you can say is, is an enhancement. Look into her eyes. Again, Release whatever it is that is troubling you. You will find resolution. You will find definitely a step forward. You will not be left just without answer and with more question. That is not going to happen to you. And if you see her third eye region, it's open. Again, that is you opening yourself to the universe yourself opening into the portal of the Akashas and visions, visual symbols will definitely have energetic power this day. See, we come back to the word power. See how everything is kind of dancing around each other? It's creating more of an expression of your higher self to come through in your daily existence from this day forward just because you chose to accept, to ask for help, to release, to believe, and of course you will achieve and receive. You're honored. Heaven dances when one of the children of God asks for help. So see those wings that she has behind her? That is your portal of release. Release. Release into the new new moon energy and transform with the ability of the new moon. All that is old and that you've danced around too long, that you're tired of, that you want to literally change and clear, to see a new form of, and to feel lighter. You just want to get rid of some things patterns that you walked around for too long. So again, thank Archangel Haniel for being here. Even the attitude of gratitude brings in help and resolution immediately. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And what you do then is so simple. Just place yourself inside that golden lotus. You might say it's not golden. It is, once it enters into your heart, it will bring in the golden light in a very different format this night. It is carrying the holy fire of Lord Shivji, the golden light, from the Akashic spaces, the silvery moonlight of the new moon and is literally sitting there 
and you're right in the center of that lotus and receiving this and your petals are blossoming. You're opening. It is safe for you to be powerful. It feels good to be powerful. And immediately you feel this energy changing within your chakra points, within your body, within your mind, your emotions, especially your emotions, and ideas, inspiration, resolution, alignment with the light, alignment with other people. Where you felt you've gone off the path of life or you just have lost motivation for life or even fear life in some way. Let that also just go into this lotus and transform right away. Because you are honoring your feelings. And the attitude of gratitude now just goes to Haniel just for being there, just holding your hand and and absorbing your pain and transforming it and being your friend. Just taking you as you are because you are lovable, dear one. So thank you, Han- Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And for those who work with Reiki energy or crystalline energy or crystal energy, you can use a moonstone to absorb this energy even deeper and keep it in a physical level near you. Any picture of Lord Shivji and the Lord Shivji family as a whole, even if you just type this in Google, will yield very powerful results throughout this day and night as well, especially the night. And also trust your dreams because they could be even lucid telling you real deep details about your concern, your future, whatever you want to enhance. This is a good time also to engage in enhancement of psychic abilities. Wherever you feel that you're stuck or you're not able to connect to the beings of light, your spirit guides in various realms of heaven, this is the time to do that learning, that form of learning. All forms of seeking and learning and changing and enhancement within the hands of Lord Shivji are enhanced. So go forward, honor your emotions and rise into the light. It's just new, new, new. So this is Tina signing off for now and we meet again tomorrow. Bye-bye.